do an advanced moisture calibration, first you want to enter into the calibration screen. Then we want to move over to the moisture tab. Once we're here, we can select the crop that we want to calibrate to, uh, select our grower, and then the farm. Field. And then we're going to select the task. Now, uh, in this instance, we want to use this task. Normally, uh, you'd make sure to use the task uh, that you uh, cut the calibration um, crop with. So here we want to select that, and you'll notice then that we have a moisture average. Um, so what we'll enter in is our actual from our grain ticket. And then once we've done that, it'll show our percent error. Um, and then we want to say yes to the cow test. Now this will apply that, um, like it says here, uh, to the current and future tasks. So by pressing OK, it'll calibrate um, the moisture sensor on this combine. And moving forward in the next video, we'll go through the yield calibration. After doing a moisture calibration, we can move on and do the advanced yield calibrations. So here again, we want to enter in the calibration screen. Slide over and we'll go to the yield tab this time. Uh, we're going to select corn again, the same farm, the same field, and a different task time uh, and now we'll notice that the weight here is a wet weight um, and so then we just want to add, enter in the actual ticket weight so we were uh, pretty close there so the error is actually uh, very minimal uh, and then here again we want to select uh, yes to the cow task and this will let you know that it's going to apply it to all current and future tasks and that the yield monitor is now calibrated.